Sean Ray for Muscular Development TV coming to you from the Mecca right here in Venice Beach, California. We are on the eve of the Tampa Pro Extravaganza put on by contest promoter Tim Gardner at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Tampa, Florida. It's all going down. Bodybuilding, bikini, figure, 212, open men's bodybuilding. Speaking of open men's bodybuilding, the Tampa Pro Championships seems to be wide open. Let's cut right to the chase. One of the bigger bodybuilders taking to the stage former USA champion, Big Max Charles. Max Charles looking to get to that Mr. Olympia by getting his first pro win right here in Tampa, Florida this Saturday, going down, but he's gonna have to go up against another big guy who's already got his feet wet in the form of Akim Williams. We've been looking for big things for Akim Williams for quite some times now. If he could rip it up and he stayed on his contest diet, he will have thinned out that skin and brought in the detail. It's gonna make things very hard for a big Max Charles. Also slated to be there, the veteran, Gregory Atoyan from Northern California. This guy's competed probably the longest out of all the guys competing this weekend. Gregory Atoyan looking to try to find his way back to Las Vegas. Michael Lockett. Michael Lockett's been competing for a little bit. The knock on him, his one leg seems to be smaller than the other. Can Michael Lockett hide it or has he improved it to the point where he'll be a factor in this competition? Big Robert P, the Polish guy, Robert Pjorkowicz. I mess up his last name every time I say it, but Robert P is definitely a threat to be reckoned with. He's got to control his midsection and bring in the detail from the rear to be competitive. Right now we have 11 athletes slated to compete, but don't be surprised if more find their way to that stage in the open men's competition. Right now, the veteran Johnny O. Jackson, a former USA champion, he seems to be one of the odds on favorites. Again, the knock on Johnny O that the legs are a little bit slight, but he's got so much muscularity on the upper body that it might be just enough to take on the other competitors. Also, don't miss the 212 pound division. That's another division that all eyes are gonna be on. One of the veterans returning, Al Augusti. Al's won this competition before, and uh, it's not too far from where he lives in Orlando, Florida. Going down to Tampa, Florida, traveling shouldn't be a factor for Big Al. He's gonna be challenged by a few guys. Uh, one of the guys that we know from Canada, Mboya Edwards. This is a guy trying to find his way back to the Olympia showdown. The legs have been a little bit slight, especially in the hamstrings, but if he brings them up, he could be one of the last men standing on that stage. Also another veteran of the stage, Victor Del Campo. Victor Del Campo trying to get up in there. Little guy, he's going to have his work cut out. But the 212 pound division is going to be chalked with some guys trying to beat Al Augusti. It's all going down. August 6th, 7th and 8th, the athletes check in on the 6th. The NPC athletes are also going to be there pre-judging on Friday, their finals on Saturday, a whole slew of things. Make sure you go to TimGardnerProductions.com for all the contest details and visit the Grand Hyatt in Tampa, Florida for Gavel to Gavel contest promotions by Muscular Development, our play-by-play, -play, our paparazzi. It's all going down this Friday and Saturday in Tampa, Florida. From right here in Venice Beach at the world-famous Gold's Gym, I'm Sean Ray.